Welcome back, folks. We are jumping into a new playthrough of Transport Fever 2 uh, because one of the mods in the old one, in the last playthrough, uh, has disappeared. It's gone, you can't get it anymore, and it basically prevents me from loading the, the save. So we are starting over, and we're going to go on an even bigger map because... There is something called Megalomaniac. Now, if we take a look here, this is the normal map sizes that are available. Small, medium, large, and very large. But there are actually three other map sizes, I think it is. There's Tiny, there's Huge, and there's Megalomaniac. And we want to play Megalomaniac. But first, we need to activate Megalomaniac. So let's... Exit the game and I'll quickly show you how to activate Megalomaniac so that uh, you can do that yourself if you want to play along. So let's exit. And here we have the, uh, well, what's it called? Uh, the folder that we have, that we need to go to. So you need to find your Steam folder, uh, go to user data, your user number, and then to the game number, which is uh, 10667800. That is the Steam number for Transport Fever 2. And then go to local. And in here, we have settings, a file called settings. We're going to open that. And we are going to scroll down until we find this line called experimental map sizes. Here, by default, it's set to false. We will change that to true. Save the file. Shut it down. And we can now start up Transport Fever 2 again. And once we're in, we'll see that if we go to free game here, we now have Tiny, Huge, and Megalomaniac. And we are going Megalomaniac. That's for sure. Uh, now, our seed is going to be Nerdy Old Gamer, capital N, capital O, capital G. And we are going to switch to Megalomaniac here. And it'll take a little while to generate the map because it's mega. Uh, so we can see that it's 13.5 kilometers wide, tile. Blah, times 40.5 kilometers long so it's a very long map which I kind of like we could go even longer but I think one by three is fine and we have a very high concentration of towns and a medium concentration of industry and what I like about this map is that we have a lot of uh, water bodies so we can do a lot of shipping and I like that. We'll play on Temperate. The hilliness is up to the second highest. Water is maxed. Forest is right in the middle. And once this regenerates, because I removed the hilliness, uh, we can continue on. So, go next. And we, of course, will be playing uh, heavily modded. We'll start in 1850, and the difficulty will be medium. And we have quite a few mods that are activated here. Uh, we will, of course, be running with costs, not sandbox mode, and there we will not turn off uh, vehicles have no end gear, or turn on, we will not turn that on. Uh, but all the other mods are on. And I have made a mod collection on Steam, so I'll put a link to that in the description so that you can just go there and uh, subscribe to all the mods in the collection. Then uh, you will have them all installed. So that is all good. Let's save that. And we will start. See you in the game. Okay, we are in. Fantastic. Let's immediately pause here so that the time doesn't fly by while we take a look around. So the middle of the map is Green Bay here. So Green Bay is basically in the middle. Now let's zoom all the way out. We are zoomed all the way out here. And if we take a look here, 
Look at that map. Look how big that map is. It's crazy. That, and that was from the middle. That was half the map that we just looked at. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Look at the size of this map. It's amazing. I can't wait to hook all this up. I can't wait to hook all this up. Now, uh, let's see. I did see earlier. I just loaded the map up real quick to see what it looked like. And we do have a very nice set up here where we can sail uh, crude from Joliet oil well over to the El Paso oil refinery then we can drive the oil up here and turn it into fuel and we can deliver it to El Paso and Roseville and I think that's how we're going to start I think that's how we're going to start and we could even take some back here and deliver fuel to Murrieta and Santa Rosa as well and potentially even higher layer but that is a very long way to go but I think that's a good place to start so we start making some money real quick and and I think that'll be good there's also here we have a coffee farm we can to turn that into coffee beans and we can turn the coffee beans into food and we can deliver that to Roseville so that's also a possibility yeah this is not a bad area to start uh, let's have a quick look at our towns which one is the biggest Lubbock where is Lubbock Lubbock is right here just love up what, what uh, tools and machines. Mm. Doesn't look like there's really anywhere around here that makes that. There's something that makes tools. Still a long way away. That's that's train distances. That is, that is train distances. All right. Well, let's start here. So we need a ship, a dock here, a dock here. And then we need truck stuff I think that'll work out let's get started yeah, we want a cargo harbor and let's plunk it in right here I think Uh, let's see, can we configure you and make a large dock? Can. Alright. Let's move that. Put a large one in. Like that. And. And then we need to hook that up by the road. Let's hook it up like that. And you are now connecting to that. Excellent. Then we need same kind of deal over here. So 
And I have added quite a few mods uh, to the game that weren't in the last playthrough. So I'm looking forward to that. Large dock. Put it there. Two landings. And then we want a road. Um, let's make this road first. And this is steep and expensive. Uh, you are not reaching that. Sucks. Okay. Can we get it to reach somehow? I don't think we can. Well, that means that we'll have a, a short cargo route here as well. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, we do have some pretty cool new uh, uh, truck stops and stuff. A truck station. Terminal length. Let's make it thirty. Terminals here. Uh, we want truck and truck. Uh, connection type town, country, invisible. And we do country. Uh, and then we can do all kinds of things. That's, this is pretty cool. I actually think I kind of like this. Lighting with. Okay. Slope. Okay. Well, we place you here. Get this. Uh, you can't do one way. Hmm. Okay. And something like that. I'm gonna need to do some landscaping here, but that's fine. And then we need another truck stop down here. This is pretty cool. Is this a passenger or? I want cargo only. Okay. The 
this looks pretty cool too this looks pretty cool too but i think i'm gonna go with a regular Place it right there, but we want no, no, one platform, thirty minutes length. Or do we want two platforms? We might want two platforms. Let's get two platforms, just in case we want it. Two hundred and seventy thousand because of this, this nastiness. Well, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to landscape it, but we can't afford to landscape it right now. That's for sure. Alright. Then we need... Uh, a truck stop up here. And we need... Two terminals on that. Put it in something like this. I think we'll be okay. The two terminals. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Then we need truck unload. For me, down here. Unload thingy up here. Hmm. We we'll put it in here. Okay. Then we need a. Road depot, which we can build here at El Paso somewhere. Let's build it there. And we need a shipyard, which I think we'll, we'll place it over here. To need a shipping line, one truck line, two truck lines, and three truck lines. Uh, one thing I do want to do, I think, is just put a little bit of road in here. So they don't have to go all the way down there and to, to get up to Roseville. Okay. So let's set up the lines, shall we? New line from there to there. And this will be El Paso. Through oil uh, shipping. Okay. Then we'll make another new line, and this will go from here to here. And this will be El Paso food oil 
Fucking. And then we'll make another new line, which will go from here to here to here. And this will be the Paso oil, the fuel, the El Paso. And then another new line from there to there, and that will be the uh, Paso Fuel the those will fucking yeah that's the four lines that we need so let's get a ship and I guess it's the Sora Asta that we want yeah, it's the Sora Asta that we want I'm going to buy one of those, set you on a pass of shipping, but not until you are ready. Alright, and we can play the game a little bit, and we can also turn these off. And let's see our very first ship, our very first vehicle in the game. Very cool. There we have it. So Aster. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Nice. Okay. And are we producing uh, oil yet? Uh, no, because we don't have a pot here. So we want to buy vehicles, like cargo, American horse drawn. I think we'll start with two. And they will go on El Paso crude oil. So they will be yellow, I think. There we go. Our first trucks, carriages. Very nice. All right. Then we need to buy some more. And here we need... Thinking ten uh, and this is the green one. This is this color. Uh, and you go on El Paso oil to fuel to El Paso. Yep. And then we'll buy Five for now, and they need to be. I think it's this color, this blue color, and go to Roseville Oil or go Roseville Fuel. Okay, and we do have oil sitting here now. So let's see what is the rate on this. 124. That's not enough. We need another ship, that's for sure. What's the rate on this? 
27. Uh, well, that's certainly not enough. Uh, let's clone the two of you. And let's buy another sort of aster. Get the right color in there, it didn't. There. Okay. You have 90 crude oil sitting there. Nice. The 90 crude oil is already coming over. stuff. I think we're gonna need way more but for now I think this is fine. I do like the look of this uh this cargo station. Yeah. Don't like that hill in there, but I'm not going to waste money right now fixing that. Uh, let's slow time down to half. I think. And let's speed up. Cool, cool, cool. How much is already sitting there? A hundred. Might need another ship. What's the rate on you guys now? 55. I think we're gonna have to double the capacity again. I think we're gonna have to double the capacity again. Do, 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 do. some money. And clone you. Okay, and here comes the crude. Uh, let's tell you to turn around. Okay. So yeah, we are definitely gonna need more of these. Um, let's double the amount. We have eight on this. Yeah, I think that works. First crew coming, I guess. Yeah. All right, but we are gonna start producing soon. There's 248 sitting there. Jesus. Hmm. 
and there's going to be a lot more sitting here. Come on, you guys. Maybe eight won't even be enough. Might not be. Well, we are producing oil now. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's turn you around. Turn you around. Turn you around. And turn you around. Okay. Now we could do some a bus line uh, from El Paso to Roseville to Fayette, though. That could be an idea. Why don't we do that? Uh, passenger. Let's see, how big is this thing? Wow, big. Kind of like this thing. But let's just do bus stops for now. We, we don't have money to play around with expensive stuff just yet. Uh, so... I think we'll do a bus stop here. And a let's do one right here. Then in Roseville, we'll just have one in the middle, I think. And then up here in Fayetteville, we'll just have one in the middle. Okay, and one thing is that we actually need to supply workers to the, uh, our industries as well, because I do have industry workers on. So I think... Hmm... I think we'll put a bus stop out here. The bus stop down here. Okay, and then we'll make a new line, which will go from here to here to here to here to here to here and back again there okay and this is going to be uh, El Paso for yet though into city bus. Oh what? No. Uh, El Paso for yet bus service. Let's call it that. Right. And we'll buy some passenger vehicles, more strong carriage. We'll buy, I think, 20. Mm. 
And then you need to be, I think it's this color. Go. I have 180 oil sitting here in our food. And 90 more on its way. So I don't think we have enough carriages here. We can definitely do with doubling, I think. So you have a rate of 421. You can produce 600. For now, we could go way higher. All right, what's your rate? 187. So we actually need to double once more. But let's see when these uh, get in here. Okay. Let's see, we have a truck here. It has four oil. We never carried anything. We have four oil. We do have some fuel sitting here. Well, that's nice. This is kind of spread out a bit, but that's good too. You know what? Down here. Why don't we make this inline bus thing? Yeah. It looks nice and it's not in the way. So let's just pause real quick. And be right here. Configure it? Okay. So one terminal, two street lanes. We're gonna have to build that again. Uh, buildings, you want two street lanes, no tram tracks. Uh, T50. Gravel. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, they are moving nicely, turn around, come in there, and they can pass at the same time. Wonderful. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. There's so much oil sitting here. 
of crude. Quite a bit of oil sitting here as well. There were a lot of passengers here. 37. The uh, Park Street. One passenger. Well, 11 people are going to Wilson Street, which is down here. So they're going to work. That's pretty cool. And what's this up here? We have a passenger waiting here. Going to South Street. We have passengers here, 36 and 18, nice. Very nice, we have passengers waiting. That's excellent. That is very, very cool. And up here, let's see, we have consumers, Roseville and El Paso, 10 and 5, that's not a whole lot, is it? Uh, El Paso, you want uh, 76, okay, and Roseville, you want 72, that's not bad numbers, that's not bad numbers, and I don't suppose any of our lines are making money, actually they are. Gosh, our shipping line is making money, obviously. The crew to oil trucks are making money. And El Paso oil to fuel to El Paso is making a little bit of money as well. The El Paso fuel to Roseville has a little bit on board. And we are starting to get passengers on board as well on our buses. So that is fantastic. But yeah, that was a tiny little corner of a very large map that you started with. And there is so much more to do. There is so much more to do. We need to find some good lines that we can utilize. We really need to find that. Uh, so, actually, this little line here, the coffee farm to the refinery to the food processing plant and to Roseville, I think is going to be our next line that we set up. So that's a nice little uh, production line. And it's uh, two coffee berries to one coffee bean and then it's one coffee bean to two uh, food or two bread so that's not too bad and we can actually drop the, the food I guess it is food right we can actually drop the food off with the same trucks on the way back so that's pretty cool so yeah, I think that will be our next line when we come back in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.